quiet week for CPA in focus. After the central banks meeting in Australia, Canada and European Union, this week we are waiting to have the British central banks meeting as well, which is postponed to the next week, September 22nd, the day after the FOMC meeting, as whole country prepares to the cradles of its funeral. While it's going to be a quiet week, energy prices and supply concerns in Europe could be the main issue to solve for the European governors. Let's review the most important events and data in the week ahead with Mia Hora and MC Markets. Number 1. British Day Not just Monday, we can call the whole week a British week. Even if the BOE meeting is moved to the next week, we still have many other data from the UK to watch, including GDP and trade data on Monday, employment reports on Tuesday, and inflation numbers on Wednesday. The political turmoil that peaked with the death of Queen Elizabeth and beginning of a new history with King Charles in line with energy price concerns hitting the UK for a decision. Numbers in general are not expected to have a positive sign, so downtrend tendency in the UK currency and stock markets can hold for a little bit longer. Number 2. US Consumer Price Index the event of the week will be the U.S. inflation numbers ahead of next week's FOMC meeting. We expect to see the headline inflation decrease slightly due to lower gasoline prices, but core inflation should increase by 0.3% in August. Since it's the most important data for Fed, it will be closely watched before its meeting, which is expected to cause volatile market as well. Even though the headline is expected to ease a little bit, core numbers are supposed to expand the idea that inflation is rooted in all sectors, which can support the hawkish stance and pressures on the stock markets. Number 3. Australian Employment After last week's RBA meeting, which ended with 50 basis point rate hike, this week's employment numbers will be very important. While the labor market was strong in 2022 and the unemployment rate fell from 4.2% to 3.4%, the job report was significantly disappointing in July. Now, investors will be looking this week's report. Another unexpected decline in the jobs or even a slight gain can change the RB officials' mind about more hawkish policies and shift to a less aggressive 25 basis point rate hike for the October meeting. Number 4. US retail sales According to the slight decrease in the prices, we are expecting to see the first gain in retail sales in 3 months with a 0.2% rise in August. However, as with easing prices, we are expecting to see the weaker labor market as well. In the long term, retail sales are likely to feel the pullback which would not be much positive for the stock markets. However, the summer holiday and school opening will increase the sales in July and August, and better than expected numbers would be positive for the US dollar index bulls. And finally, number 5, China retail sales and industrial production. After a decline in both officials and succinct PMIs of service and manufacturing sectors in August, Friday's retail sales and industrial production data will be critical for clues on the path of economy in China, especially with ongoing challenges, particularly in the real estate sector. Overall estimates are slightly rise in both retail sales and industrial production. Also, we should not forget about the labor market data, where it is expected to see the unemployment rate unchanged at 5.4%. With these expected data, Chinese Yuan is supposed to gain a little bit against its crosses. Thanks for watching this video and hope it's going to be an amazing week for all of you.